Now, to create the actual chart for the Gantt chart, since we have all of our data here, what you're going to want to do is go up to Insert, and then click Chart. Select the Bar Chart type, and either click the Stacked Bar or the Stacked Bar with a 3D effect. I'm going to choose the one with the 3D effect, then click Next. Now this is a very important step. When you're on the window with the source data, you need to stay here for a bit. Go to the Series tab and make sure that you haven't, make sure that there are no series here. If you see any series here, simply delete all of them and then start from fresh. Now what we're going to do is add three blank series. In the first one, this is very important, the first one has to be this, you want to use the start date. So where it says name, we're going to click the cell for the start date. For values, all of the start dates. And then where it says category X, axis labels, we want to choose the titles of the project tasks. So project task one to five. Now it's important to note for the bar chart like this, the X axis label is actually going to be on the Y axis. So uh, try not to get confused with that. The next series that we're going to add is the days completed. So we'll days completed for the name. For the values, select the values for days completed. And then for series three, we want to do days left to complete. Then select the values for days left to complete. Once again, make sure category X axis labels are the labels for the project task. Then click Next. Now, you can see an example of what the bar chart is going to look like. It has three colors. One is the start date once days completed and the other is days left to complete. Now I'm going to take the legend off because there's no point in having it right now and then click finish. So here I have a chart and I'm just going to move it down a little bit and make it a little bigger. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit of formatting to actually make it look like a Gantt chart. What we want to do right now is to take out these blue bars. And the way you do that is to click them once, and then right click, Format Data Series. On the left in the box where it says Border, click None. The right where it says Area, click None. So that means there will be no color for border and no color for area. And then those bars disappear. So now we have what kind of looks like a Gantt chart. I'm going to go ahead and change the text formatting here. So I'm going to right click, format chart area. I want to make the font say 8. And I want these dates to be a little bit different. Change the alignment. Also I want project task 1 to start at the top. So I'm going to right click over where it says project task, format axis, then go to the scale tab. Then check categories in reverse order. Okay. So what that did is it reversed. So now project task 1 is at the top instead of at the bottom. Now the final thing I want to do is take out this extra space here. How you do that is to right click down here over the dates, click format axis, and go to the scale tab. Now you'll see that for the minimum it says 39,650 in my case. The numbers can be different. The point is this is how Microsoft Excel represents the dates. So the dates are actually represented in a numerical format. So we need to figure out what number we need in order to take out the extra space. So how you do that 
is scroll up to where you have your start date. Mine is 8-1-2008. You can click it and then go to the top menu and click the comma and you'll see it turns to 39,661. If you don't have a comma up there, you can very simply right click over any date, then go to format cells. On the number tab, simply go to the category number and look in the sample box. You'll notice in the sample box that you see 39,661. So that'll also tell you what number that date corresponds to. So once you know what that is there, simply click cancel. Go back down to your chart, right click, format axis, go to the scale tab, and now we can make this 39,661. I, however, will make it 39,660, just to give a little bit of extra space on the left. Click OK. And there you go. Now you have a fully complete Gantt chart. Now I want to point out here that the purple on the left means that that has already been completed, or it should have been completed, because that date is passed. The color on the right means that it has not yet happened. So for instance, Project Task 5, we haven't even gotten there yet, so it hasn't been started. Same with Project Task 4, hasn't even been started. However, Project Task 3 is about halfway done, but it's also about a little bit more than halfway incomplete. Now, this will change every day due to the today's date formula, which is just equal today's open and close parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a different date so you can see the graph change. So when I delete it, it thinks that the date hasn't happened, so nothing has started yet. If, say, I make it 8 4 2008, only a few things have been started at the front, but nothing down here. So Project Task 3 hasn't even been started. If I make it 8 20, almost everything is complete. We only have a little bit more left to do on Project Task 5. So that is how you make a uh, basically a dynamic Gantt chart that is going to change every single day. And it'll let you know where you're supposed to be on your projects.